Hello dear Geminis and welcome to your May 2023 readings with me. If you're new to my channel, please do subscribe. Now let's get started. Let's see what's in store for Geminis, Sun, Moon and Rising. So the first week starts with the money energy for you. If you have been stuck in a financial tight corner, then my dear Geminis, there are ways that are opening in front of you so that you make more money for yourself okay uh, the first week is going to remove botheration regarding money matters for you at this point of time my dear gemini and i also see that uh, you will be coming across some kind of opportunities at work and you should make them work for you because opportunities are always present okay i don't believe that opportunities knock once no they don't knock once we have a revolving door of opportunities so they are coming and going coming and going but are we grabbing them are we holding them are we snatching them or are we catching them okay that makes the difference my dear gemini for you and so is true for you for the first week also all right so your opportunities are present and you have to know which is the right opportunity for you and you go for it because this is going to help you on your financial freedom path this is what i see even for gemini students i see that uh, for those of you who are looking for summer jobs or those of you who are looking uh, for uh, making a bit of money while studying also you might have opportunities to do that also for other Gemini students, I see that you're working towards a more progressive life at this point of time. So money is the theme of the first week. Financial matters are going to catch your attention in the first week, my dear Gemini. And then we go to the second week. And this is a beautiful week because I see in the second week, uh, it's a lucky energy week. Now, when I say lucky, that doesn't mean I'm sitting and everything is just falling from the sky for me. No, that's not luck. My definition of luck is you work as much as you can, not hard, but smart. And then you leave it for the efforts to be rewarded from above. And the amount of the, the rewards that come, that is your luck. Because that is that reward that comes for your work. Okay, so in the second week, that is what is happening. This kind of, kind of energy, that beautiful energy of rewards is on the way for you, my dear Geminis. Okay, and now what you sow in the second week will come to fruition in the next seven months. So this is your sowing the seeds for your future time, the second week. All right. And I also see that any projects you are working upon, any uh, relationship that you're working upon is now going to take up speed at this point of time. So there is going to be a kind of a, um, how can I say, muzzle velocity, you say? <laughs> when, yeah, the recall and the muzzle velocity is like things are going to go really fast in the forward direction for you and uh, in a fast way. All right, and that is the Gemini way, I feel, the fast way, yeah. Because for the Geminis, it is fast and steady wins the race, right, my dear Gemini? So over here in the second week, you are going to concretize some projects. Sentimentally also, if you're not uh, settled on someone or you are still, you know, considering different options, then you will try to zero upon uh, one person when it comes to your career also now you will be able to know that okay fine now these are my opportunities and now I have to go for the best opportunity or there will be few job offers and you will be selecting the good one and in the seven months ahead you're going to see that how it is going to evolve for you in a positive way this is what I see then we go to the third week and the third week here my dear Gemini you have to really really take care because over here I see that um, there is some provocation happening for some of you this provocation can be in the form of irritation that comes because you forgot to pay some bills and now you have to pay some fine upon those bills for some of you it is administrative procedures for some of you it is someone who is unwell even your energy levels are a bit down so because of that you're not feeling really really good uh, about it my dear Gemini this is what I see uh, in the third week for you but I see the energy of 
you know, being provoked by something uh, is very much present over here. So even if when you go out, my dear Gemini, in the third week, I would like to tell you, uh, please um, carry all your papers with you, all right? And uh, if you are in a lawsuit, then you better choose a good lawyer. Otherwise, there can be some problems at this point of time, all right? If you are fighting for your rights in the court, then there can be some kind of uh, problems because of some papers that are missing or uh, or maybe your advocate is not up to the mark also, all right? So just consider that also, my dear Gemini's. And I also see that um, somehow your morale can get affected uh, at this point of time. So what you have to do, my dear Gemini, is that you have to, I mean, I don't even have to tell you that because you are the most flexible sign of the zodiac. You adapt very easily, just like the Pisces, yeah? And so in the third week, whatever these things arise, you know, just take it in your stride, in your, you know, like, okay, fine, it's here. I'm going to deal with it and I'm going to see what it gives out. Instead of getting worked up, instead of spending energy and don't even try to convince people, okay, who are not ready to listen to you in the third week, especially because I see that there can be some kind of arguments and you are going to try to be, like, let me explain this to you. Let me, you know, you're going to try to convince some people, but know that the people who understand you don't need convincing. Just know that, all right? So don't waste your energy upon that. Just leave it to the time. Just make one or two points and that's it. Leave it. Let them, you know, absorb it, assimilate, you know, absorb it inside of them and analyze it and then let them come out with what they feel about it. You don't keep on, you know, wasting your energy there, okay? Stay quiet. That's going to be your energy um, reserve in the third week. And it will avoid a lot of problems that you might get into in the third week because of miscommunication or with or because of some communication with some miss in the third week, okay? And then we go to the last week. Last week, my dear Gemini, you're at home. You're feeling good. You're not in competition with anyone. Maybe you're returning from a trip. Maybe you have just taken a few days off and now you are not so much uh, looking for any kind of, uh, you know, dynamic work schedule. You want to take it easy. You want to just soak in that feeling of being with the family at home and feeling serene. Uh, for some of you, it is change of workplace also. Uh, you might change uh, to another department or you're promoted or you're transferred or you have taken up a new job. So you're going to your new office, okay, new place of work, new bureau in the last week of May. For some of you, uh, you are applying for home loan and then you are signing papers for your new home. Uh, for some of you, I see that... Uh, you are entering, moving into a new home also. And uh, for the student Gemini also, you're considering uh, new schools, new universities at this point of time is what I see also. It's all about feeling at home. It's all about being at home also in the last week. And I see uh, Gemini's are going to be quite introspective uh, in the last week. This is what I see, my dear Gemini's, in the last week for you. Uh, somewhere you are just... You know, sometimes I feel Gemini's are really misunderstood because everybody feels that they are so quick and so this. But what I have seen about Gemini's is that they are very thoughtful. Uh, they can be very meditative in their own way, you know, not like sitting very quietly and all. But they are, they are very thoughtful people. They go to a lot of depths inside of them. This is what I've seen about them. But nobody notices about them and that's a pity I feel and that's very unfair towards Gemini's because I really feel that you all are very, you know, there is this kind of spiritual thing inside of you and somewhere in life, you know, something gets you to that depth. You're running and running and running in play, you know, all around but then there is one point that comes in your life that really grounds you 
to your basic nature and that is your spiritual nature and that i will i feel like telling you in the last week there will be some moments like that those kind of you know spiritual connection kind of moments uh thinking about the deepest philosophy of life that is what you all think but uh, outside you don't show it <laughs> but i i know inside of you there is that that place that uh, that you know that quiet corner where you go uh, when everything outside gets so nervous uh, and you know your energy is eccentric also sometimes so much of energy and then you seek that little corner Uh, in all that crowd and all that is going on and then you speak to yourself or you write down few lines on that book of yours and that is that depth that you carry inside of you the spiritual depth that you carry so in the last week my dear gemini's there is this kind of a time that you are going to spend with yourself also and it's the most beautiful time that time that you spend with yourself my dear gemini's and don't run away from it make time for yourself and to connect to go on a date with yourself my dear gemini's okay so thank you for listening please do like share and comment and i shall see you in your birthday month and yes a very happy birthday to the end of may gemini's may god bless you abundantly and fulfill all the desires of your heart this is my prayer for you and enjoy that lovely cake bye bye god bless bye